The biggest part of keeping dairy cattle is to always ensure they have enough feed. You as a farmer should always make sure to give your cattle a balanced diet. At the moment I have two cows and two calves. The kind of help I would need with the cows is uh, number one, how to mix their feeds and also uh, to help them have a better place to, to sleep and also to milk. The biggest part of keeping dairy cattle is ensuring there is constant feed. You as a farmer should provide a balanced diet to your cows. To help Ruth with her dairy cows, we have called in Frederick Ochido from CKL Africa. What dreams do you have? What are your aspirations? What do you want to see in the next two, three years? Uh, in the next two, three years, I want to be where I used to be when I was growing up. We had so many cows. That is what took us through education as a family yes. of eight. Mm -hmm. So yes. you want you want more cows? Yes. So, uh, Mr. Uchido, yeah. what, what challenges have you observed? The only challenges I can observe with the cows is uh, they are losing a bit of the body condition. And also the hair is uh, plucking from the skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically that is what I can observe about the animals that we can try to recommend. So what am I missing? What, what is lacking? It shows that your animals need more of protein in their diet that needs to be balanced together with the energy okay. and also add more of the good grass that you have in your farm. Okay. Then your animals will correct the challenges that we can see. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have a question for you, Ruth. This, yes. this is feed? Yes, all this is feed. So they basically just feed here? Yes, they basically feed here because it's just the two of them. Mr. Ojido. Yes. This is where our cows eat. Yeah. And I can see so much fodder yes. going to waste. Yeah. What would you recommend? I would like that you keep them on a zero grazing where it is confined yeah. and there is a lot of control. One advantage of zero grazing yeah. is when the animals are confined, you are able to feed them well because okay. you present the feeds to the animal yes. in the right proportion. Yes. Zero grazing will help you reduce on feed wastage uh -huh. because what is presented to the animal, it can eat. Yes. Zero grazing will also prevent movement in the unit and also out of the unit. Yes. And because dogs and even human beings can come up with diseases, yes. zero grazing helps to keep off the diseases away and the movement is, is controlled. Just like human beings, yes. cows also need a balanced diet. Yes. How do we do that? It is very simple. So over and above your grass, mm -hmm. we will formulate a dairy meal for you. Okay. And we will basically use maize jam, about mm -hmm. a kilo. Yeah. We'll use wheat bran, 3.5 kgs. Okay. We'll use wheat pollard. One okay. kilo. Yeah. We'll also use kupakula as a source of protein. Uh -huh. And it also has diamond V in it okay. that helps in digestion. Uh -huh. And also maklik super for the mineral balance for your animals. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ochido, yes. you've talked about uh, there's a way I can mix to add value to what I'm giving to my cows. Yes. Is it possible for you to show me? Yeah, 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 yeah I would sure. I'd really love to learn that. Yeah. yeah. When making your mixed feed using hay, remember for every cow, Take 600 grams of Kupakula Gold and 200 grams of Maklik Super. Mix well with 2 kilograms of maize jam, 1 kilo of wheat pollard or wheat bran. Mix everything together thoroughly. Then add 6 kilos of chopped hay. Mix well and add water to hold everything together. So, Mr. Uchido, yes. you saw where our cows are sleeping. Yeah. How, how did you find it? The first step to ensuring that Ruth has a good dairy business is the shed. And so, we are going to turn this old structure into an amazing cow shed. Ochido plants with Kamau. It's going to be a massive undertaking, but it will really help get Ruth going with her dairy venture. Off we go with an army of workmen. The old timber is removed carefully. Remember, you can use what you already have on the farm when building. The old roof comes off, followed by the walls. It's a big job. The wooden floor can be used for the walls and troughs. Ruth. Yes. How does it feel watching all this history? Your history going down? I have no words because this history is just coming back afresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the way things used to be here. Daily cows was the way of living here, mm -hmm. and now I can see it coming back. I'm feeling so good. You're feeling and good? And I'm feeling so honoured because this is what my parents had. 
Aww. and it's now coming back. There is so, so much joy in seeing that legacy that was there before reborn. In a year or two, there will be a new cow. I can promise you that. The work on the cow shed is at full speed and is starting to slowly take shape. The zero grazing unit is done. It feels like a completely new building with the right size partitions, sleeping area, feeding troughs, drinking troughs, and the cows can still get sunlight. Ruth is well on her way to being a dairy farmer. 